and after. A chemical toilet on the right and the Trolino separating toilet. It's very light. We haven't set it up yet. It's a bay. <laughs> As we've shown before, comes with a, a urine bottle, a wee bottle, and a bucket for solids. I'll just put a, a bag in, and we've got we're using shavings. don't really know how much to use at the moment so there's the shavings that's ready ready for use so, that's all ready for use before when we needed to use the toilet when we we're away in the van this is what we used to have to do because it's full of chemicals or full of liquids. Not very subtle. <laughs> and then it was always lift the lid to use, pull that out, flush when we're done, close it back up. Close it down and there again, carry it back in. Because it's full of chemicals, we didn't really want to keep it in the, the van itself. Plus the size of it. And the size of it, yeah. But it is heavy. It has its own place in the garage. And then you get to the point when you're away or back home and it's got to be emptied out at a chemical disposal point. But now we have the Trillino toilet. And this is what we do. It's all on board inside. Yes, we do, we do have to move things. Much more discreet. No one knows what we're doing. We're not having to lift the toilet out of the back fits nicely under the seat. We've got our shavings at the back. It just lifts out very light. And there it is, ready for use. There's a bag in there, shavings in. Do what you have to do. Then We've got a bottle of white vinegar and we're going to put some eucalyptus, eucalyptus oil or oil. similar nice swelling oil in there to just to uh, wipe it clean it if we need to but it all stays inside the cab so it's nice and easy and as daryl said it's a lot more subtle than carrying the loo from the back That's just perfect. So a little later on in the video, we'll show you again how we set it up. We showed you in the little intro video that we did a while ago that we'll link to this video. There it is, all back together. But so far, it's all right. we're very, very happy with it. And it's a lot more convenient. Yes. And eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. We've been using the Trolino toilet for a few weeks now. Been away a few weekends, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, and so it's time to give an honest and complete review on it and what we think of it. 
if there's anything we don't like about it and what we like about it. Mm -hmm. So, here it is. You've already seen it when we showed you. It's very compact, very neat. It is. Um, we've made some notes because we our memory's going, you know. We are 60 now. <laughs> Says a 67-year-old. <laughs> so, let's go. It's more subtle for us anyway, isn't yeah. it? Because we're not having to lift it in and out of the... Because, as you saw before, we used to have to lift the other toilet out of the back of the garage lift it round, bring it in. So it's not subtle at all. So, uh, and it's a weight. Yeah, it was fair, a weight. It's, whether it's uh, being used or not, there's a lot yeah, of liquid in liquid there. Liquid in there from the chemicals um, and the water and everything. And, so. it, to be, and it's top heavy. Yeah. So it's not, it's not easy to uh, cart them around. And to be honest, it has tipped over a couple of times in the back of the van. The no van, matter yeah. how much you wedge it, if you go around a bend at the wrong yeah. speed or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's definitely more subtle. Um, and obviously, because there's no chemicals, it's a lot more environmentally friendly. We're not having to find chemical disposal points no. or wait till we get home. Or worry about it. Or no. worry about it and panic that, oh, God, yeah. the loo's getting full. We need to find somewhere. Because, as you know, if you're a long-term subscriber, viewer to the channel, we park off-grid. So it is absolutely perfect for off-grid mm -hmm. camping. For long-term off-grid camping as well, if you're going away for a fortnight or longer, it's perfect because it's, it's, it's so easy. All we need are the bags, really, aren't yeah. we? Bags and a bin. Um, um, and the bags, although you come with a load of uh, bags, disposable bags, any bag any, will do. Any will carrier do bag, plastic yeah. bag will do, or bin bag biodegradable or bag. It actually comes with biodegradable bags anyway as a start. So yes, it takes up a lot less room for us. It means we can store it under the <laughs> seat just where Keith sat at the moment. Um, when you sit on it, it's very comfortable, it isn't is. it? The, the, Surprisingly. Uh, for, for it is clean, by the way, now. So the, let's lift that bit up. It's actually a very nice bum shape, especially if you've got a peachy bum. But uh, it is it is comfortable to use. Um, if we were planning the van from scratch, we might have had... Um, Perhaps higher seats. We'd, have, we'd have probably we'd, yeah, and then gone for a slightly bigger one. But you'd, I mean, obviously, we, we planned the van before and got the van set up. So this one is suited our where we were putting it. Yeah. Um, yes, as Keith says, we would have gone for the next size up. This is the small. There's a medium and a large. We'd have gone for the medium only because we're getting older <laughs> and our knees <laughs> and our knees aren't the same. So it is just a little bit low for us when you sit on it but it's ideal for where we want to keep it, it is yeah it, it, and it still works for us it's not that it's difficult to get up no, anything, is it? no it's just it's not if it had been a little bit higher so the next size up it would have been even more perfect although being a bit lower allegedly it's a better 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 position better position for you to be pooing because because <laughs> then you you <clears throat> your feet are your feet are slightly your raised knees well not are, your, your knees, knees are raised, raised yeah. which is yeah. allegedly, allegedly. The scientific best way to poo. do a poo, a number two. So, it is ideal for us. So, not only is this great for camper vans, if you're going tent camping and you're on a site and you don't want to traipse off to the toilet block at night, again, again, it, it's nice it's, and compact to, it's to light put to carry around in your tent. It's it's it'd be easy enough to pack in a car. And if you wanted a cushion on the top, it's, yeah. a, it's a seat. Yeah. So if, if if you did want to have it in your van <clears> and you didn't have anywhere to actually store it, or in your tent, chuck a cushion on top of it, and it's it's sturdy <laughs> enough, it's it's solid enough to sit. Well, obviously it's solid enough to sit <laughs> on. You use it as a loo, but you so. could use it as a, an extra seat in the the yeah. van or your tent. So advice wise that's what we'd say <clears throat> consider the size and what size you want have a look at the website at the Trilino website and look at the measurements work out if you're building a van from scratch work out where you want the loo what size what size seating you, you're going to have in your van and whatever and where you can store it or whether you do want to use it as a as an extra seat in there anyway so so yes it's a lot better option than a chemical toilet and a lot more environmental friendly. So would we go back to using a chemical <coughs> toilet? No, I don't think so. For, no, I don't. Again, environmentally friendly. Um, we're not carrying chemicals around. If if you empty your loo when you're away, mm -hmm. you've got to have the refillable 
you know, you got to refill it with the chemicals. chemicals so you're carrying those. Um, it's it's just perfect for what yeah. we want. Um, when Trelino actually approached us, they actually said that they find that this type of toilet, although it's very popular on the continent, in the UK, they're not as popular. Um, people seem to have a fear of them. And we can honestly say there is no need to have any fear. No, no. <laughs> All right, you, you, you think... You're used to having your toilet at home and, and water and flushing and all that. But once you get used to it, there's absolutely no problem with this. No. At all. And when well, we were a bit. We, yes. Yeah, we, we were. We, you know, um, but we're using shavings, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think we said in another video, um, white vinegar with, with a little a bit, bit of pine disinfectant. Well, well no, not just uh, um, pine oil. Patchouli oil. Patchouli oil. Or, or any kind of oil that you like the smell of. Just to clean, because obviously occasionally urine does start to stain so if you just give it a spray um, but we showed you before how easy it is to empty the two separate buckets the one for liquids and the one for solids um, there's not a lot more we can say really it's just no. we're amazed at how quickly we've taken to it and how easy it is so with that said if you are considering a chemical toilet have a look not a sorry not a chemical toilet if you are considering not having a chemical toilet or changing from a chemical toilet to to one of these, these. have a look at the trillino, trillino website um we'll put the link to that below and if you did buy one and you used a discount code that we've got it doesn't actually give you a discount off the toilet but it will give you some free gifts 30 pounds worth of free gifts which are a load of compost to start you off some composting or compost um friendly bags and even some shitty socks <laughs> which aren't shitty socks <laughs> they're just they're, they're very nice socks. they are very... nice socks <laughs> but, but they've got cute little turds on them aren't they? <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so yes that's what you'll get 30 pounds worth of gifts um and yes we recommend it yeah yeah, once you get used to it, in, and it's the concept, I think, is it is for, it's our, just, for our age group, it's yeah, the concept. Yeah. But uh, once you get used oh, used to that and over that, then uh, it's perfect. Yeah, um, and really, that's it. As much as you can love a toilet, <laughs> we love it. And I mean, lifting the lid now, we've got it prepared again for oh, next God. time we go away. But there's no smell. And even when you've used it, once you've once you've closed the lid, I mean, once you've put the whatever you're using, whether it's compost or shavings or whatever, on top, on then. top, and you close the lid, there's no smell. It's always a not a, that we noticed. And the urine bottle, you can cart that around for a few days. I mean, we don't tend to wee anyway, do we? In the loo, not so, in the loo, because so. uh, we're blokes and we can find a tree. And that's not the police coming for us because <laughs> we've not used it outside in public <laughs> yet. Okay, hope that helps. Hope that's put your minds at rest if you're a bit... Fire. Oh, it was fire. <laughs> we're, not, we're not out of curry either. <laughs> um, hope that's put your mind at rest if you're a bit iffy about this type of toilet. If any more questions, just, just yeah, ask. Drop, drop them in the comments below. In the description below, we'll put that link. And that's it. It's time for... One prepared. A cup of coffee. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. Don't drink the coffee and then I have to use the loo right away. <laughs>